Yo, what is going on, SoFi investors? Man, this week was a little tumultuous. We started out really good the last five days, man, and then the inflation data came out and we got absolutely smoked. From around almost eight bucks back down to 726 after hours. It's been a rough, rough go for SoFi investors. But I want to give you guys some positive news along with this negative news, right? Real quick, before we get started, everybody, if you could please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us grow. It's a great free way to support me and the channel. Thank you so much. Let's get into it. So I want to talk about short interest. As you can see on the screen towards the bottom, short interest as of 3.15.24 was 21.49%, which is extremely, extremely high. It got up to 23% in between 3.15 and today. But I have some good news. All right, SoFi investors, if you take a look on the screen, this is the live short interest percent of the free float chart. So we were up to around 23% short interest over the past week even, right? So it went from 21% from 315 up to around 23%. But if you take a look in the right-hand corner, it's down to 16.5%. That's nearly a 30% decrease in shares sold short. Short sellers know something, guys. They know something is going on. And if 30% of the people selling short on SoFi shares are like, you know what, I don't want anything to do with this anymore. They know the price is about to go up. And that's going to even crush these shorts even more. As we run up into earnings, we could see that short interest go down under 15%, maybe even 12% if we get good news at earnings. All right, guys, here's another chart, a more visual chart of the amount of shares sold short from SoFi. The blue is the amount of shares sold short. This line, this blue line downtrending is showing where it was peaked at and where it's settling at. And this red line is the amount of people that are closing out their short positions. The amount of shares sold short was getting to a ridiculous number. Look at that crazy, crazy spike in short interest. And that came right around when those notes got announced, right? So now that people are realizing what these notes are actually doing for SoFi, they're like, oh boy, we need to get out of these short positions before we get absolutely smoked. Real quick before I let you guys go, I want to check out Simply Wall Street. They have a bunch of really great tools. I'm not affiliated with them at all whatsoever. But you can check out like five or six free stocks every month on their program and check out this earnings and revenue growth forecast chart. So right now, this is the revenue and earnings. And you just look at them simultaneously, man, over the next few years, we're going to be crushing revenue and earnings, man. A lot of predictions are increasing revenue and increasing profits on the bottom line. And if you look, Analyst future growth forecast. Our company, 56.4%. The industry, 12.7%. 14.6% for the U.S. Forecast annual revenue growth, 13.9%. Industry, 11%. Market, 8%. So this means that SoFi is being projected to grow exponentially more than their industry and the market as a whole. All right, this is from last quarter, but I want to show you a breakdown of where SoFi makes its money and where its expenses are going. So right now, we had a gross profit, $1.69 billion, revenue, 78.2%. We had $2 billion in revenue. You can check that out. And then this is how on the left hand side right here, here and here is the breakdown of where all that money comes from. So we get $1.37 billion in revenue. 436 million in financial services and their technology platform 352 million dollars so we can see that lending is still a considerably larger chunk of revenue than financial services and the tech platform but when you combine financial services and tech platform if they grow a little bit more over the next few years 
those two are gonna be about equal to lending. And if we check out the right hand side of the screen, we see where the expenses go to. A billion dollars in GNA, which is general and administrative, 692 million in sales and marketing, and another 287 million in others. So almost 700 mil in sales and marketing is a considerable amount of money to be spending on marketing. So if we can kind of shrink that by like 10%, shrink GNA by another 10%, our profits are going to be considerably higher. And now that we did those notes, we're going to spend a lot less money on interest. So that's going to mean our gross profit's going to go up. Everything is going to go in a positive direction for SoFi going forward. I know this week was really tough for SoFi investors. We were crawling back up towards eight bucks. That inflation data came out and smoked the stock again. And now we're back in the 720s. I said in one of my previous videos, if the inflation data was bad, we would go from that 790 to 750 and possibly 730 if the numbers were not very good. That's exactly where we ended up. But on a positive note, the amount of shorts are going down considerably from 21% up to 23% at the peak, now down to like 16.5%. That's great news for SoFi investors moving forward. So I think shorts have exasperated the juice. They're squeezing out of the SoFi lemon, right? So they don't want to get torched. So they're starting to close out their short positions, maybe even go long. And if they start to go long on SoFi, that price increase will continue to run up into earnings. But if short percentage goes down 30%, that means there's going to be upward pressure on the stock price moving forward into earnings, in my opinion. I think we'll hit 8 bucks, 8.50, maybe even as we get closer and closer to earnings. On Monday, it will be two weeks away from earnings. So stay tuned to the channel. I'm going to give you as many updates on SoFi as we get closer and closer to earnings. I think this short interest going down is a huge positive for the stock going forward. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe.